G'day! In today's video, I've got a Radiant RX 5700 XT, and I believe this is one of the launch versions. And I want to take the cooler off and replace the thermal paste. So I'm not too sure what needs to be done, but we'll figure it out along the way. We'll start by taking these black screws off here for the trim. I'm going to assume that will separate it on the other side, and then here for the cooler itself. All going well, there won't be too many surprises along the way. This one being about two years old, it's gotten to the point where it's worthwhile replacing the thermal paste, even if it's just some preventative care to keep it running for another two plus years, potentially longer. So, uh, let me take these out as well. One, two, and a dodgy warranty sticker over here. Three, oh, that back plate is now lifting up. Four. So in theory, I'd say this should lift off. Flip over. Ho oh, ho, and this has gotten a lot more than I bargained for. That's not moving anywhere. These ones I'm gonna assume that the screw sizes are all identical. Hopefully there's no other surprises along the way. Uh, now I'm not planning on replacing any thermal pads or anything like that. I just purely want to do thermal paste. Um, the pad sizes, I don't know what they may or may not be. There we go. I'm hoping will split. Okay. Now, I suspect this bracket now also needs to come off along the front here. So I'm going to stick this back on and flip it over. So I can take off the bracket. Definitely easier to switch to a triple zero screwdriver down here. Considerably tinier, probably not one that's going to be floating around the house. So that may prove to be a challenge. Basically any phone repair kit should have a screwdriver about this size. So if you've ever done a screen replacement, maybe look in the bag that came with this bag of screws that came with it. Hopefully you can get into the into the GPU from here. Go. Flip this over. Take this off. Lift this up. Take off these two screws here, or this one here at least. Let's see what that's going to do. Go, fold it over. Annoyingly, these are very tiny and short. Yeah, the wire is going to be fairly pretty much like that. Fairly delicate indeed. That I can solder back on. Do that in a bit. The mounting points for it did come off. So it's one, one connector that does not want to leave. This here, I'm assuming, is just to light up the red on the card itself. What a joke. That is a joke. 
On me. Hopefully not on you. There we go. Disconnected. Have to re-solder that onto here. It's gonna be fine. Let's continue over here to the thermal paste. Which what do we like? Pretty dry. Very rubbery. There we go. So yeah, pretty much due for replacement. About now is where I'd classify it as not great. Use some isopropyl alcohol in there. Let's soak up the majority of it. And just using some tissue paper or toilet paper in this instance. Takes up less space on my desk. Does the exact same thing. If you see how hard it's going to be to remove it on here, on the die, it's going to be considerably more challenging, I reckon. There. Like rubber on here. Die itself is all right. But around it is going to be the challenge. Use a thin pair of tweezers and just slide it along. Now I'm basically just dragging it over the thermal paste, I'm not really pushing it. Shouldn't be any need to push it. Just kind of scratching it with its own weight of the tweezers. It's fairly risky, so you may want to step this swap, uh, skip this step. And I'm just using a toothbrush, lightly going over it. On different angles. And a bit more force now. Couple more spots, still not quite, still not quite perfect. Getting better. Here being stubborn. There we go. There we go. Now we, now I'm happy with it. Some thermal paste on the die. T 
tap it around so it covers everywhere. That's the same Corsair TM30. Not exactly special stuff, but it will be fine. I just want to feed back into here. And now we should be right to flip it over. We'll, be, we'll just brush the dust out of here. Now, what I'm thinking, flip this over, line up where it needs to line up. Uh, try to where we go? It's at the rear, to the front. No, we ran the right way to begin with. Go, just line up. These cables are going to give me grief, I can already tell, by the length of cord they actually have. What I want to do is put it down. Now I'll put so let's stop it from wobbling around. I'm going to put in one, two, three, and four. I should hopefully stop it from bouncing around and carrying on. This one I will put back over here. There we go. Flip this over. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers. That should just hopefully slot into there. Yep. One. Without tweezers, this is going to be slightly maddening. There we go. We are connected. So fold it down. Proceed to put in. Hmm, these guys. Smaller screws go above the connections. Mostly it's a matter of putting it all back together now. All going well. You've dropped your thermal temps by quite a bit. Seen any, seen any dust build up that you may have going on in there. I did clean out a couple of spots. Um, but it does surprise me how dense this card is. Dense, maybe over-engineered. Not sure, not an electrical engineer. But I do like having stuff built to the level of complication they need to be. This one's over-engineered, hopefully it has less problems because of that fact. There we go. Okay, that's all in. Now we're getting near the end. Check this. One, two. Go. Here. These two, these two. I leave. One. 
two and three. No, one in the wrong spot. Where are you meant to go? What have I done? Aha. See it now. Here. Here. There and there. Now I'll do these ones up. Still loosely to begin with. Tighten this one up. 